When you log into SE Cockpit, this is the screen that you've got. Um, we've got the dashboard here, which gives you access to the quick start guide, video tutorials, and the help desk. And there are other widgets on the home screen which aren't currently being used. Um, I'm going to do a new search just to show you how this works. And I'm going to do something very broad. Let's just type in health. And you'll see here that it comes up with suggestions in much the same way that Google does. And once you've typed in your main phrase, you come over here and you select the way that you want your keywords to be harvested. I'm going to use the Google AdWords synonyms. That's just the, the Google AdWords tool. There is Google Suggest synonyms, which um, as we saw over here, as you start typing in, you get suggestions. Well, Google does the same sort of thing. And if you type in letters or numbers as you type, more suggestions appear. So there's A, B, and so on. And that happens at Google. You can also do that here and collect those keywords that way. This used to be Google Wonder Wheel, but Google Wonder Wheel has been removed. So this is a new way of searching Google synonyms. I don't know how it works, so I can't really tell you about that. But let's just go and pick Google AdWords synonyms and hit the Save button. So we can have a look and see what the data will look like in SE Cockpit. Okay, that really only took a few seconds and it's returned 800 words. Not only has it turned, returned 801 words, but for each of these words, it's done a detailed competition analysis. So if I click on any of these phrases, we'll open up the competition screen which shows you the top 10 in Google, the URL, the Moz rank, which is SEO Moz's equivalent of page rank. You can see two here are, are zero, so those two are, are sites that could quite easily be knocked out if you were to, to go for them. Page authority, you can think of that in terms of how many links there really are going to the page, and then domain authority, Again, how many links, how many authority links, how many links altogether are going into the page that um, give it its authority. Juice links is the number of links that actually pass link juice. So the do follow links and then total links are the total number of links which can be do follow, uh, no follows and probably some duplicates or from the same domain or something which maybe aren't counted. So for every single keyword that comes back with SE Cockpit, you have this immediate screen of competition and also the trends, web trends over time for that keyword phrase. Now at the moment I've got 800 keywords. What I would like to show you is just how easy it is to expand that number and I'm going to click on expand and let's type in um, men's health and we'll tag these so that we can see them coming up as a different color. Let's be a bit sexist. We'll have blue for men and click save. And SE Cockpit now is going away and grabbing more keywords based on men's health. And as you can see down here now, I'm at 1300 keywords. Those ones that were just retrieved from the men's health keyword have this blue tag. So within seconds, I've now just got an awful lot more keywords here. And let's just expand it again and we'll have women's health and let's tag those mm, I think I might get into trouble if I choose pink so let's tag those ones as yellow and let SE Cockpit do its thing again okay and that's just come back now. We've now got 1,531 keywords and the ones that came back with a female health, women's health, are now tagged in yellow. So we've got something pregnancy diet there. Gynecology, women's day. So you can see that the keywords now are being tagged according to whether um, it's a men's health issue or a women's health issue. So that's very simply how you can start to build up your keyword list, how to expand your keyword list. In the next short video, we'll have a look at what all of the columns mean.